What if I told you that posting this on LinkedIn could blow up your business? I've used the exact same strategy to help my clients attract six-figure opportunities for their business. And the best part, it requires minimal time and effort, but the results can be game-changing. So stick around because I'm about to break down the entire process, showing you exactly what to post and when to post it for maximum results. But before I can show you what this post is, I need to first show you why this can actually blow up your business. Imagine walking into a fancy restaurant and the waiter does not hand you a menu. Instead, they start telling you about the chef's journey, how they once burned an entire wedding cake the night before the big day and how that disaster led them to create the most exquisite dessert you'll ever taste. But what does this have to do with LinkedIn? Because if you want to grow on LinkedIn and turn attention into revenue, you also need to handle the menu to your readers the second they see your post. If you're not able to do this, it's not even worth it to post content. And I call this menu the story hook. The thing is, not any story will work here. Actually, most stories you read on LinkedIn will not work if your goal is to grow your business and generate revenue. So how do you make it work? It comes down to sharing your exact story and hooking your audience with it. So here's an example. If you're building a product to avoid critical bugs, what do you think will get your audience's attention the most? Our product is built to eliminate bugs. Versus, I stayed up for 52 hours straight just to fix a major bug before launch. And I still failed miserably. Well, the second story hook just gets your attention that much faster. And that happens for a few reasons. First, everyone that already recognizes you will not resist. Second, it gets the immediate attention of those who resonate with your story. And finally, it builds instant credibility because it shows that you've been through the process. But getting your audience's attention is not enough. You still need to hold it and turn that attention into revenue. And to understand how you can do that, we need to go back to our dining experience. In these sort of fancy restaurants, you know that the experience is built upon multiple small dishes. So by the end of the meal, you feel perfectly satisfied. Now, imagine going to one of these restaurants, paying a lot of money to be there, and they serve you a single small dish. I don't know about you, but I would leave starving and I would never come back. And this is the biggest mistake I see people making on LinkedIn. They drop a powerful hook, but they do not deliver on the promise they made. So your audience will feel annoyed, betrayed, and you will lose credibility. So what you need is a framework that not just holds your audience's attention, but keeps them coming back for more and more. But how can you do that? Well, after your hook, make sure you dive deeper into the story. Offer more details, raise the stakes, make it juicier. This is what I call expand the context. Second, describe how you went from, you know, the previous terrible situation to the desirable outcome. Or simply show the transformation. And third, what did you learn with that experience? What changes did you make? What outcomes were you able to experience? This is your chance to offer real and actionable value, or really to just highlight the learnings. So with a way to hook their attention and keep them for longer, you're doing a better job than 90% of people on LinkedIn. But there's still something missing from your strategy. And it's the difference between one post that turns into revenue and another post that just gets you eyeballs. Just imagine getting your audience excited and actually begging you to sell them something. Well, I'm about to show you how to do just that. It's called bridging. And most people don't know this is actually possible to do on LinkedIn. Or if they do know, they are not doing it 100% Accurately. They tell stories, they share interesting perspectives, sure, but there's no actual connection to their business. 
So even if you're getting comments, likes, engagements, you're not able to turn it into revenue. So this is how you can do it right. After you got your audience's attention and you've shown them the transformation you went through, what you now need to show is step-by-step step how they can go through a similar transformation because that's what they want. And this will also help you to align your story with your business. And you can get it done successfully with this one exact sentence. Ready? And that's the exact reason I've built, and then you insert your offer, and then you state something related with credibility. We have helped X number of people, X number of businesses go through the same transformation. So this could look like this. And that's the exact reason we've built Toggle Track. So you can measure exactly how many hours you're spending doing deep work versus procrastinating. We have helped 100,000 entrepreneurs increase their productivity by 400%. And this is how you turn your audience's attention into excitement about your product or service. The thing is, how often should you actually post this type of content? What sort of visuals should go with it? And how do you even know if it's working? Let's start with the signs that your strategy is working. The signs you are looking for are more likes and comments in your content than average. You're looking at more followers on that day than average, from one to five inbound messages after posting, and really nice comments from your existing followers. Now, what sort of visuals should go with this post? The single best strategy is to add your own photo. I know, I know, a lot of people don't want to get too much into the social game, but it works. But if you're really against photos, I've got an option. Make sure you add a photo that represents kind of what you are talking about in your story or just ask AI to generate something for you. And finally, how often should you be posting this sort of content? Well, once a week is ideal. It's not too much that your audience will get bored of this format, and it's also not too little that you will not be getting any sort of results. So after hitting publish on your LinkedIn post, you can indeed expect a flow of opportunities. Unless you've literally turned off one of the most important features on LinkedIn. Yes, you heard that right. There is a critical setting that could be blocking the success of your content and you might not be aware of it. Watch this video next to learn how you can fix it once and for all.